Baptist oh, Christian yeah. Commission came out of the YMCA in New York City in 1861. There was a couple board of director members and, and some other influential people that um, wound up on the battlefields at Manassas uh, early 61, some of the first land battles. And they saw how bad the soldiers were suffering, the average soldier in the ranks. So they, they got a hold of a fellow named George Stewart, who was the president of the, the YMCA in New York City. And they said, you know, we got to do something. And it wasn't long after that, um, and it was about November of 61, that Stewart got together with 11 other men and they chartered the U.S. Christian Commission. And uh, from there on, they started to, the way they actually got to the field was they actually recruited and, and, and put what they called delegates out there, uh, or agents out there of the commission. And what, what they, and most often those individuals were, uh, they might have had, uh, uh, maybe they were a lay reader at a, at a church locally or had a real strong connection to a, a local church. Maybe they were a pastor many were, or maybe they were seminary students and that type of thing, and they were really recruited for a several month time period, their term of service if you will, and they would go out and they, they would either serve in forts, they would serve in hospital locations, or actually um, embedded with troops, um, much like the kind of the setup we're doing here today. The, the, three, the three small tents you see off to, the, to my right, those are, those are indicative of delegate um, camps that would have been set up when they were embedded with regiments, you know, regimental organizations. And probably one of the most famous ones that I can think of here at Gettysburg was, uh, and there were many, but uh, was the 20th Maine. You know, the 20th Maine is really credited, Joshua Chamberlain's really credited with helping to save the Union <coughs> flank over here on Little Round Top, right behind me over here. And he, his brother, Joshua's brother, you know, he, Joshua himself helped the, the command of the whole regiment, but his brother Tom was in the regiment also and held a lesser grade officer role. And but their other brother, there was actually three brothers up there on at Gettysburg, and their other brother was John Chamberlain, and John was a seminary student that was the United States Christian Commission agent or delegate here at Gettysburg, and he. Uh, and uh, he served the 20th Maine um, here, as did many of the delegates that were here. There was almost 500 delegates here as part of the effort for the U.S. Christian Commission, both during and after the battle. And uh, they disbanded in 65. They uh, right after the the, uh, the armistice, well, after the surrender was signed at the McLean Farm, when the ANV actually uh, surrendered. That's when they actually disbanded a short time thereafter, because the job was done at that point in time. And uh, some of the real notables, John Wanamaker, if you ever heard of the Wanamaker retail chain. He was really a kind of a seconder or commander at a high command level um, within the, the, uh, the Y. The hospital that was set here, the field hospital that was set here, it was named after David, or named here after Jonathan Letterman, was the ranking surgeon for the U.S. Army after the battle was over. So, goods and supplies began to roll in on behalf of the U.S. Christian Commission. They were put in several warehouse locations throughout town. One of the big ones is in the, was in the Schick store, which is right on the square there. It's called the House of Bender now. And, you know, supplies started to roll in, and as it rolled in, they were distributed to the, the hospital site and to the, where the soldiers needed it the most. They were everywhere. Um, they were all over, and on most of the battlefields and most of the hospitals in the war, which is a big, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's a big number, because that's an awful lot of hospitals and an awful lot of battle sites um, during that four-year period of time. Uh, so they were credited with an awful lot of things. There was no, uh, there was no dog tags during the war, and one of the things that the Christian Commission came up with, because one of the real horrors of the war was, if you were a soldier and you were on a battlefield a thousand miles from home, whether regardless of the, the army, but definitely the Union army, um, that you would die and no one would know what happened. I mean, you just never get another letter back. And one of the things they started to pen were called identifiers, which was just like a dog tag is today, although it was on wax paper instead of. of uh, metal like they have today and it would actually identify you by your name and regiment so that if anything did happen you there would be a record of you there mm -hmm. so, so 
That was one thing. The other thing was letter writing. They were big with that because, you know, the illiteracy rate, while it wasn't quite as bad as people think it was, um, there wasn't a literacy rate there. And getting a letter home was a big comfort. You know, getting them from home was a big one, but being able to send one back out was big. And they gave over 7 million pages of stationery out to, um, to soldiers to allow them to do that. Um, again, the prayer, the Bibles. I mean, there, there, was a bi there were nine Bibles a minute being printed in, in New York City. For that effort during the war, all through the war. So you can imagine how many Bibles were being distributed in both armies, but, but, but really in, in uh, the Union Army during the war. An awful lot. That, millions of pages of Bible tracts were being handed out to uh, to soldiers to get them closer to God. So that was a, it was a, a really big effort. But the Christian Commission was it was you know it was just a benevolent effort uh, to to serve the soldiers. And and one of the other things that really has to be said was it was non-denominational. Really, it obviously was a Christian organization, but there was a great upheaval in the country. <laughs> Uh, prior to the the war, um, while there was a, a a revival of sorts that was going through, it swept through the South and the businessman's revival of the North. Um, prior to the war, I mean, there was some real revival effort, but at the same time, there was a big, a lot of big splits and divisions. The Southern and Northern Baptists, the Southern and Northern Methodists, and they they were all splitting at the same time. So, this was one way to 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 look across all those denominal denominal denominational lines and say we're Christian and we need to do something in behalf of the army that's